Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares. And today I've got a really cool tutorial on how to use the physics tool, uh, which is the lift tool. So I'm just going to go on to my content and I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom where it will display my physics. Okay, and if we click in that, we'll see down here we've got this tool called lift and fall so what we're going to do is we're going to use this tool to create a kind of effect kind of superhero effect where this lovely lady here makes a lot of objects around her rise in the air and then fall to the floor with kind of realistic physics so you can do that by using this tool and you can add it to any object you know you might want to do a car or you know a building maybe a superhero raising a building or anything that you want to lift and then have fall with natural physics um, so we'll just turn set as dummy off and we'll just move this over here and what we're going to do is we're going to create a bunch of objects so we'll create a bunch of primitive shapes uh, we'll use this box here and we'll just get one more and we're going to make our character here raise these boxes with her mind uh, so in order to do that we're gonna want to get her in some sort of pose so we'll just raise up both the arms and I'll turn on the mirror tool here to help me kind of get it accurate with both the arms and we'll just raise that up and then we will rotate her forearms towards her head so you know we're not really gonna focus much on the motion it is more about the physics tool and maybe we'll have a kind of slightly healed over and maybe just put a slight bend in the knees okay brilliant so what we're going to want to do now is if we click on our prop here if i can just close this down if we click on our prop uh, and we hit our gizmo on we can see that the red axis here is pointing this way and what we want to do is we want to actually get that axis pointing upwards and I'll show you why when we click on our tool here and we come into our panel and click our select tool we're going to select this box right here now if we hit play you'll see nothing happens and the reason is is because we need to turn on our physics so if we just turn on the physics for the box and we'll just make that kinematic we should now get some results Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and today we've got a really cool tutorial on how to use the lift and fall in the physics toolbox to create realistic uh, up and down motions uh, specifically lifting and then the falling of an object with realistic physics so it reacts to the ground below it so what we're going to do is going to load up our scene as you can see and we're going to go into our physics toolbox and we're just going to load up lift and fall I've already got mine in my scene and then we're going to create a bunch of objects as you can see here and we're going to load in an avatar and we've just posed the avatar in this kind of uh, pose where as if she's um, using her mind to manipulate objects so what we're going to do is we're going to click on our tool here and we're going to deactivate these physics and then we're just going to go into our project and we're going to switch over to the bullet engine and we're going to create a physics uh, infinite plane and now we can just attach this okay so I'll just bring that back in and now we can attach this to our prop and if I just go down here into our drop down menu click on the picker tool we'll click that box and if I raise that up, that will then move. Now we can see it's moving the on the wrong axis, 
And uh, the reason that is, is because we actually need to change our gizmo. So we can see uh, it moves down the red axis here. Uh, what we want to do is we want to go into our pivot and we just want to click edit pivot here. And then what we can do is we can effectively rotate, we can rotate the pivot until it points in the air. And uh, we just wanna get that here to 270, so we'll just remove the four. And that will now be perfectly uh, pointing upwards. Um, I know you can see here that the red arrow still points that way, but if you look carefully, you can see the little red going up here. That means the pivot is changed on the axis. And now when we hit up, you'll see that will then start to lift and that will then fall. Great, so what we now wanna do is we just wanna do the same thing for each of the boxes. So we'll just go down here, select our picker tool. And if you hold control or shift, I believe you can select multiple boxes at once. So we've selected our three boxes and uh, we're just gonna hit play and we can see they haven't been selected on the right axis. So we're going to want to go back here and we're just going to want to select this tool again. And we're going to select our picker tool, choose that box. And we're just going to then change the, again, change the axis on the pivot point by going to edit pivot and hitting E on your keyboard and just rotating that around until that red's facing up. And we could just get that completely accurate by hitting 270 there and enter and we'll just do the same for this box just spin that around and we'll just go here 270 and now you'll see that this will now lift the props in the right direction and you can see when we hit the full button here you'll see those props bounce off the floor a little bit and react with physics so really cool tool guys and as I say we've got our evator here doing uh, using mind control to uh, lift these boxes in the air so we'll just go close up and we haven't got any motion on her but it looks really cool really cool way to get objects raising and then falling with realistic physics so just a quick tutorial guys I uh, really hope it helps uh, and you know if you want to play that back you can then just turn off the bullet engine, go back, hit play, and you know, that's your motion there recorded. Really, really simple, but you know, really effective way to, you know, get some cool motions, get some cool superhero motions. Uh, you know, raising cars, raising debris on the floor, you can raise anything with the tool. And uh, you know, there's really no limits to how creative you get. So I really hope that tutorial helps. And really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.